Hi guys, welcome to Easy Peasy Gardening. I'm your gardener friend Ruchi, and today I'm going to show you uh, an update of the jade plant that we uh, grew from the cuttings. So, um, if you remember, we had uh, a big branch, and out of which we had cut all these. So there were three cuttings in which we had the leaves on the top, and as you can see, that there's a lot of growth in here in you know even this is these are growing taller and there's a lot of growth on the stems even here you know there's there's growth here and this third one also you can see that there is growth at the bottom so they they are doing very well i mean they are growing taller and uh, there is uh, new growth from the stem but you know we had also planted some bare bone uh, stems meaning they had no leaves you know i had just cut them and put them in there and two of them actually uh, basically shriveled and just dried off and two of them they were not showing any growth you know they were showing you know some as if they were sprouting so i took them out and there was no uh, root nothing so I was, i'm really disappointed because I have done this uh, before, you know, here I have put some bare bone um, stems of succulents. These are different uh, kind of succulents and they are all growing. I mean, most of them are growing, uh, uh, you know, um, these uh, plants out of it. So I'm going to do an experiment today. So what I'm going to do, so here I have uh, uh, my big uh, jade plants. So I'm going to cut off a bare bone portion from this stem and plant it and see how it works so here's my cutter so i'm going to cut it here you know just below this node and now i'm going to cut it i cut this off so this for sure Wherever I put it, it will grow. So I'm not worried about that. So uh, cut it here. So this is bare bone. So I'm going to just put it here. This is a um, pot with the uh, good potting soil mix. And I have put a little bit of uh, coarse sand, uh, you know, for good for succulents. And in this one, again, I'm just going to cut it off here. And I'm going to just put it like this so of course these i'm going to put uh, in my some other pot and i'm pretty sure they will grow but my experiment is that whether the bare bone stems of jade plant whether they grow or not so uh, uh, for now i'm going to leave it in the shade uh, maybe uh, for a few days and then i'll slowly move it out in the sun and in any case you know winters are about to set in so I uh, want to leave it in the sun so they get, uh, you know, good growth. And I'll report back how they are doing. And as an extension of this experiment, I am going to do one more thing. Because normally that's how uh, you do it. That all the succulents, when you are trying to uh, propagate them, after cutting, you should leave them out in shaded area for the callus to form and then plant them so in these two we just cut them and put them directly in so i'm going to put cut another one so this is another one and now i'm going to leave it uh, uh, in a shaded place for the callus to form for a couple of days and then i'm going to plant it in so uh, uh, and then uh, we'll see uh, how it's working so i'm just going to leave it like this so it's been one month uh, that we planted these uh, jade plant cuttings, you know, bare uh, uh, stem cuttings. They had no leaves. So um, uh, two of them without forming the callus and this one uh, after forming the callus. So these were the three that I planted. So the experiment was that we wanted to see that if we put the bare stems without any leaves, will they grow? So now. It's been exactly one month. So if you come closer now, 
you will see that all the three stems have growth. See like this one, this one has really big leaf coming out. This one has a few of them coming out but uh, uh, and one, one is quite big and other ones are small. And this is the one in which uh, I had formed the callus first and then put it in and that has the smallest growth. But I, I won't say that you know because of um, callus it has less growth or uh, big growth because it really doesn't matter. In one month the fact is that all three of them have growth. So that was our experiment, um, you know, we wanted to find out, I mean, I wanted to find out when I had put uh, the bare stems in this, uh, two of them dried out and two of them did not have any growth. So I was wondering, you know, why uh, that happened. So bare stems do grow. So that is clear in my mind. Now, the only thing that I would suggest is uh, if you have to plant bare stem, probably you want to uh, plant them separately. So what was happening was that when I put the bare stems in this, I had to put this in sun because there are so many leaves and uh, uh, the leaves need light for photosynthesis. So I couldn't put them in shade uh, for a very long time, only in the beginning. And then I had to put it in sun. So probably these stems, because they don't have any leaves, nothing, uh, uh, the leaves are not producing any um, uh, nutrition for them. So they just dried out in the sun, they, you know, in hot sun, just bare uh, stems, they just dried out. But here, because there were no leaves, I continuously put it in a shaded area with indirect light, bright indirect light, but no direct sunlight and then they started to grow. So if you uh, have to grow uh, bare stems, uh, plant them separately so that you can decide what is good for the stems and give them the environment accordingly. If you mix the two, then I think it's a problem. So I hope this video was useful to you. This experiment certainly cleared up a lot of things for me. If you still have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you next time. Happy gardening. Bye.